me back again in my ambulance. Don't know how many videos I'm gonna film, how many videos I'm gonna do before, or anything like like only oh and random idea I had after getting some art supplies for my birthday. Woo! So yeah, yay! Not really excited about it, but I got. A bunch of art supplies because I picked them. I got these two 60 color sets from Arteza. Arteza? I don't know how you pronounce it. I've heard people say both. I got the 60 color watercolor set and then I got the 60 color, color gouache set in the tubes. And then I also got like a little 12 pan palette to test because it was 36 and at the time I was like, hmm. It's probably for the 12 before I even get to 36 and I quite like it so I'm probably going to get the 36 later. And like online, as I was looking at the colors like on the back of the box, my phone don't want to focus on anything. Okay, but anyway, on the, like the packages and like the colors of it, I thought like one color, Emreta? Em... Em... The... Emirat? I don't know how to say that, so I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that looked more like a magenta color, but it didn't really. I'm not, okay, well, it's kind of magenta because since I watched this Echo, like this video by Echo, I can't remember her last name or like what she goes by, but she's an. Are they? Is she? Okay, I think her pronouns are she. She, her, I think. I can't remember, but like, I hope I'm not wrong on that. But she did like a video on like the primary colors and stuff, and that that messed me up. I'm gonna tell you right now. <laughs> you freaked me out. I was screaming. I mean, like, like the true primary colors. The only one they got right is yellow. Yellow is the true primary color. Goody see you. But like, red and blue, or the, the blue, that's a secondary color. The secondary colors. It's like, yellow, cheyenne, and magenta, so I've been looking for those because it's like, it freaks me out, okay? And it looked more, and let me show you my color swatch. This is going to be horrible quality, I hope you know that, but it looked more like, I think, this one, I think this is this one, it looked more like magenta, but it's more like a berry red. Sorry about the lighting too. Then a magenta, you know. Um, I even did a little watch of the next in the other cover on the top and stuff, but I thought this was a pretty good palette too. The pans look a little odd to me. I don't know if it's just me, but they look a little odd me, like, I have another watercolor palette by Jane Denver, Dart, David Pouch, Dart, <laughs> but I quite like this, the only thing I don't like about, like, okay, <laughs> it closes, it, it hinges nicely, not like, uh, I got this palette, the, the, um, this one, I have these colors in it. I got this used, by the way. This is so old that it no longer properly hinges. But, but, the thing I like about this palette is, this thing, it closes. Like, it doesn't flop around. And this one, none of y'all saw that. None of y'all. Well, and then when I try to put it this way, it kind of works, but like... You know, like, it just flops around. It kind of bugs me, but I really don't use this part on either one of that one. <laughs> I've never, like, held it like this. You know, like, I've never been in that situation, really. I've always had, like, my giant palette that I have in the other place. Probably should have just brought the whole bag, but 
I didn't because I didn't think I needed it. And while I was doing a little piece and drawing them and like, I actually, like the paint I used for like the piece in this book was from the, I believe, it was the, da -da -da -da. it was one of the boys from this one, but I can't remember which one because uh, me being the person I am, I did a little dot out of all of them, like little dots on my palette inside. And, uh, <coughs> the reason I did that is because on some of the lines that, for both the gouache and watercolor, I saw that, um, they weren't really, like, put on your palette a dot or, like, make your own customized palette where you can put in pants. It kind of, like, chalked up in a way and, like, fell apart. So I was like, okay, let's test it, see how bad it is. It, like, after 24 hours, most of them did, like, chalk up and come apart. So... I took all the little pieces and put it in an old medicine container. I will use them one day. I'll probably use them for this reason to not to waste them. Because I don't like to waste things. So I'll probably use them for like my thing I have that I'm wanting to do. But I can't remember what blue it was. But I used the blue and I believe the watercolor. And then I used the gold gouache metallic color. Granted... What I'm thinking is more of only one color, but I was just messing around with it, so I used this tech layer in one color from here, and then like a little gouache to do some outlines on the, on the eye and the bottom lip and yada yada yada. But, so what I've been thinking, I have this lovely 60 colors, granted a lot of them if you wanted, just get a small set and you can mix them. Cause that's basically what this is, a lot of colors that you could mix yourself, but I'm still new to it, and I can't really mix what it fit. <laughs> so I decided, but to get like the bigger set so it would be easier on me, and I also have like, a 60 color gouache set, which yes, I understand, there might be some like cover overlaps like pink blushes in this one and in the gouache set you know there's going to be color overlaps but what i was thinking is since one is watercolor i'm showing the back of you watercolor this is supposed to be like a transparent medium you know like it's supposed to be light and like translucent but gouache it's supposed to be a little bit more pigmented more like acrylic and watercolor had a baby. So what I was thinking is, are the colors same? Like, theoretically, if the pigment information and everything is the same on each color, it's the same, you know? Like, you feel me? And I want to test that. Now granted, what I'm thinking of doing is going to have like 120 different art pieces plus some from this one. I may even do it with a uh, Jane whatever Devin Pout, Devin Pout, Powie, Pout, I don't know, I may even do it with that one, why'd I put that one one, the shit that I lose it, okay, for right now, I lost the other one, <laughs> I don't know how, but I did, but, I've already done, like, kind of one, but I'm probably gonna redo it to, like, fit it to, like, the actual circumstances of what I want to do, like, I want to do a challenge to where I pick, da -da -da -da. this isn't the gouache one, I pick, like, okay, granted, I'm probably not going to do ones on white, or tie, okay, we got to get in the Bob Ross thing, titanium, white, 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 the gouache set comes with two whites, and as far as I can tell, same pigment information, same, like, everything. It's just, like, the numbers, I guess, but, like, the actual colors, like, one's a, one is A163 and one's A101, so I don't know what that means, but, like, the pigment's the same, so, like, brightness and everything, like, that's the same, but I probably would, uh, skip the white, so it's probably gonna be, like, more like 117 different photos but I'd probably just go on to like the pearl yellow which is like a metallic-y kind of pearlescent color and do an 
art piece based on this one color, which you can't really see just forward, but like, start with this one and then make a piece out of each and every individual color. Like, this lime green, I want to make a, like a piece about this. Like, I want to do like a whole full portrait. Not like, like my cartoon port, well, kind of cartoon realism, had a baby portraits. Granted, now the only <laughs> ones I really have done is more like, I guess, feminine faces, you know? I don't know how to describe it, but like, more of go non-binary kind of faces, you know? So it would be along that size, probably not very many masculine or stuff, but I want to like, take a color and make a whole piece out of it. Like a whole, for everything, like hair, that use it for different toes and like you could use one color and depending on like how light or I'm gonna grab one dark it is you can make several different tones and granted I don't know I'll probably have to find some paper or get another sketchbook for this but like I wanna do that like there's 60 colors in here so therefore the, this one's a wash one by the way Minus those two whites, there would be 58 colors in here. You know? Like, 58 different pieces, portraits, different foot, aces, different, like, characters. Like, I want to make a character out of one color, you know? Found it. I want to, like, make a piece, like a character, an artwork out of just one color. I want to make, like things like that and I want to do it for each and every color in each and every like thing. Now this is just like an intro video to that. Like I want to do that but I don't want to waste all that time, effort, resources, paper and everything on it if no one's going to be interested in it. You know you feel me? Like I want to do it but I don't know if people will be interested in it because on this channel I have mentioned I had an art channel. <laughs> has not worked out. I think it has like four more subscribers than this one. I can't even remember if this one has any subscribers. I don't know. I know my sewing video got like 20 or so views I think. But like I wonder if anyone would be interested in that. Like sitting down watching me. I don't know filming here because I'm about in like two three months. Move out. I was like, hell ho, over oh, well, oh, are, and I can't bring my ambulance with me because that's more like, ambulance is more permanent situation, this is me li moving in with my booze, right, when we turn like, the age to move out of it, I'm getting off in a year, a year early, so, but anywho, like, this is me and my booze moving in so it's a little easier on all of us. Until we can get, like, a more situated, situated house, you know? Like, this is, like, not as permanent. So, I can't really bring that w this with me until I find, like, a permanent home home that I want to call my own. And that I want to raise, like, or at least help adopt the children, you know? Like, make me children. I'm, like, one day, if I'm ever on YouTube with this that long and I have my adopted children, I'm gonna call them my children because they are my children, you know? Like, you feel me? But like, I don't know if I wanna start doing this if no one's gonna watch it. I don't wanna waste all the time, all the energy, all the effort, like, get me, like, get me. I love art, it is my, like, like, ever since I st discovered it and started using it in a way to like, call myself, like, express this, I love it, I love it, but like, I, <laughs> I'd probably do this, like, just for a few of them. But if, like, people actually wanted to see, see me do, like, the whole 118, 17 pieces, plus these, pe these 12 ones and these 12 ones, and then my, I have some other two watercolors, and I have some watercolor pencils, like, do y'all want to see that? Like, I have quite a fair bit of watercolor stuff. A lot of it I got used. The dice clay... There's very few that I actually got new at a store, like, probably five or six of them. 
<laughs> and like paper because paper is kind of hard to find use and the ones that like I need or want or like that good shit you know so like most of it is used this I bought new well got as a present like honestly I was thinking about buying this like brand new but then I was like hmm my birthday's in a few months I should probably just wait to get them to buy it for me you know milk it as much as I can <laughs> Before I say, sign uh, hello, you know? So, like, do people want to see me do this? Like, I will show you the one that I already have done in my little hands and Excel. I mean, like, I will show you. I, I got three sketches out right now. Now, these are just the sketches I'm going to play with, not actually the ones that I, the characters that I made. Because... <laughs> One's kind of like realism, then one's kind of like cartoony realism, then one's full-blown, big doll eyes, big ass, like, pigtails cartoon, you know? This is, like, more realism. Now, I'm going to flip the camera, and hopefully it will be a little bit more. Okay, I couldn't do it what I wanted to do, but let me use the flash so you can see it somewhat better. Like, this is the first piece that I don't know what blue I used. And like my lovely little metallic for the eyes. It definitely looks non human and I love it. Like this is the piece that I did. This is the more realism piece, you know, like you feel me, it's kinda sparkly in some spots. Like ooh la la sparkle. But like this is more realism for you. And then this one is the more like kinda realistic, cartoonish, and then this one. Let me show you what this one. I was feeling like I wanted to do one with like these big ass doll eyes, the little lovely, cute as fuck shaved eyebrow, those nice little pouty whips and stuff. And I hope you know none of these will have eyeballs. But like I wanted to do like a kind of dolly esque cutie. One, which is clearly hella cartoon, and is not proportionate. Plus, what the fuck is that collarbone? What are you? You're just a straight line. Like, you, you look more collarbony. You, I like the shading I did on you. You collarbone. Cheek hollows to the gods. And then, like, the shininess, like, Like, I would just sit here and go, ooh, hold on, hold on, let me, let me focus it. Ooh, shiny. All day. Like, all of them just that, and granted, I wouldn't do them all in one go. I would pick a color. Will it be in order? Probably not. But I'll pick a color, like, do some sketches, outline some thumbnails and yada yada art thingies. And then I would, like, create a piece off of that character. This is not an actual character going to show up. This one, lovely blue goddess or god, either one you want to go with, is just like a test sample run. Just like how this one is in my lovely. I got them all. I kind of like this one the best just for the eyes and those cute ass little shaved eyebrows, which I could probably never pull off. But I will paint them on sometimes with my face paint. So, oh, well, that one got a little gold on it, but it's probably gonna put gold there anyway. But like, I want to do that. Like, and I don't know if people will be interested in doing that or like watching that or anything. Cause like, my art style is I don't know what it is, but I kind of like it, and it's getting better and better as I practice more and more, and I, I just like it. But like. We're talking about over 130 different pieces, different drawings, different portraits, different characters. And, like, I want to do that, but I don't know if anyone's interested. Because I've seen these art challenge one color for one character before. Like, I, I know it's out there. That's, like, the whole reason I wanted to do this. You know? Like, I wanted to try and make something with this and make 12 different characters and stuff. Like, I wanted to try and do that. And make like okay, and if it gets to like where a lot of people like it, I will do every watercolor thing I have because like 
There's this one watercolor pencil that I have. It's like this, okay, this is like a piece that I did a while back. But, like, it has, like, this, it's very, very patchy, this green color that I kind of want to do. Cause it's like a bright lime lime neon green. Like, I kind of want to do that, and I want to see, like, a face with that, and, like, like I want to do that. And then there's also this one that I have right here, like, this pink one, and I, did, I think the same set as the green one, but I want to do that one. This this doesn't count because this is like me messing around. Like if you can't read on the top, God, my foot has gone numb for sitting on this floor. Oh, I forgot about this. Like I filmed filmed those other videos months ago, like beginning of the year, buddy. And how my, like, well maybe not beginning but middle, my foot's like numb and it's like, <sighs> put the needle, <sighs> you know, I'm trying to stretch it without stretching it, which. Hold on, hold on. I've also brought more damn mud and dirt into here. Oh, oh, that feels better. But like, I want to do that because like I have. Hold on, let me find the cute boy. He's his name's not the cute boy, but like I like this one. I like this one hella hardcore. Like it's a cutie, patootie. He's my cute little boy with his little hair and blue hair and blush and everything. Like I like that one a lot. If you're wondering what's on the back, it's this. Just outline sketches I did of the park. I would love to do, like, all those art pieces with just, like, basing the character and stuff up with one color. It's like this one. As you can see, I showed y'all this. I've used that red quite a bit. So much that I can stick my finger in it. Hey, you little widow damn. Also, like I was saying, these pants look different than those, like the Archiza pants, and granted, different pants, different shapes, sizes, and, you know, I would love to, like, make each and every, like, character and stuff based off of that. And then maybe, if I make the characters, take, like, a group of characters and make a whole storyline just from those characters, you know, like, be so creative with it, make a story, make, like, love ties, love hates, like, murder, you know, stuff like that. Like, I would love to do that, but I don't know if anyone's interested in that. You know, like, you feel me? I don't know if, like, I don't want to put all this time and energy and stuff and then, like, have no one watch it. No one want to see it. Like, I love doing this, but I don't want to do it if no one's going to enjoy it with me. Like, you know? And it's just, like, I don't know if people will do it with me, if people will like it with me, if people will, like, like, take some art supplies I have, because, like, realistically... You can do this with any and every art supply, acrylic, watercolor, oil, gouache, like pencils, pens, sharpies. You can do it with anything. As long as it's different colors, you could probably do with with it. But like, I want to do this, and I want to like know if there's some booths out there that want to do this with me, or like a boo out there. Like I create like six characters, you create some characters, or like have you have half, you have half, you make like half your own characters. I make my own characters, and then we can create a storyline together do like illustrations and shit like I would love to do that like I would love just like to sit here all day and not go to work and <laughs> not do anything but like draw make characters illustrate that then like make storylines because like the amount of storylines and story ideas I have quite a few books in here that I started to write it down in I have like books on just their selves like an idea of a storyline that I what do do? I have, like, all my little memos on my phone that I'm filming off of. I have several different storylines from fan fictions to original ideas. But with those fan fiction ideas, I could just easily take my own characters, put it into that scenario, and make it, like, an original story, you know? Like, I want to do that. I want to create. And, like, I want to do this stuff. But, like, I want to know if these boos out here want to actually see it. Like, the boos that I... Don't know if I have regular booths that watch the four videos I got down here or like have watched them all fully, but like, would you be interested if I do like boo? Would you? Would you like to do this with me? Would you like to watch and go along with me? Because like, I'm literally, I'm the kind of boo that like, I'm not gonna like wait a whole month and have one project on like a whole long, like month long journey for me and then you 10 minutes for you. I'm going to short do small little video clips, put them together in a week, and be like, 
this is the real time. You know, like, you're going to enjoy it with me on the real time. You're going to suffer as much as I have to suffer and wait, you know? Like, we're going to suffer together. Like, that kind of thing, you know? Like, but, like, I don't know if people want to see it. If you do, stick around. Maybe subscribe. I, I'm pretty sh I don't know if I have said for y'all to subscribe on this, but you like my weird, crazy, kind of manic. I don't know if I'm manic or not, self, but, like... Come join the club. Y'all boobs be interested in that? Would a boo, would, would you, <laughs> like a boo like to see this with me? Like, would a boo like to go along with this journey and make all these art pieces and like, then go from there and make stories and stuff? What? What a ball? Would y'all? What a boo? Like, I'm probably gonna end this video here because I kind of rambled on and not really fully explained it. But like, I want to do each color, a character, a whole full face portrait. Not like full body thing, but like probably about here and up, like face portrait. Granted, probably a lot of them will not have hair or eyes, because hair is evil. I don't like hair, but like I'll try and do hair on them, but if I don't like that character and it doesn't look good to me with hair, then I won't put hair or eyes in it. You know, like some may have ears, some may not. Some may have like, like a long, little, 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 little tongue. Some may not. Some may have, like, these cute little piercings. Some may not. You know? Like, I don't know the possibilities are in this. So, is there, or is there anyone that would like to come along with this life? Like, would like to actually see me? Because, like, if there are responses, like, it just takes one person to be like, yeah, sure. I'll do it. Like, I just need one boo to come along with me and be like, yeah, let's do this. You know? But, like... Thank you for listening to my rainbow. I bid you a good day. And goodbye.